Hello and welcome back to All About the Smokies. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the Hilton Garden Inn in downtown Gallenberg. Let's take a look. Alright, if you have seen any of my hotel reviews, you know we always start in the bathroom. I always like these, these Hilton rooms that have this light around the side. It's just really, really nice. Nice and clean. Everything looks shiny. This, this one does have a bathtub. So nice, nice and big. Plenty of room in here. All right, so we've got a little mini fridge, a uh, K cup, and a microwave, a little ice bucket. So this little, your little wet bar, if you will, places to put stuff. So. We have a desk with Ethernet cable, a couple of plugs, that's nice. Um, we'll come over to this side of the room, get a Miranda. Uh, okay, so we have a plug, we also have uh, two USB and, and two regular plugs, so that's really nice. So the TV, now we got a room as a fireplace, and actually this weekend it is not cool enough for that yet. Today is like 78. Yeah. Tomorrow will be cooler. So we'll let you know about bed comfort afterwards, but this is really nice. I really like the wood in here. What do you think about the decor? I think it's really homey. I really like it. The fireplace is a nice touch. It's just too bad that it won't be cool enough to use it, but I really like the style. I think it's just kind of warm and inviting. And I like the balcony. Yeah, it has this kind of like, I don't know if you'd say like a cabin, like a rugged cabin vibe. I feel it's more a, like an inn. Like, like an inn. Like yeah. an inn. It'd be like, well, which it is a garden inn, maybe. Oh, maybe that's why they call Whoa, it that. Oh, mind blown. <laughs> uh, but I do like this, this, um, this wood theme that they carry through headboard, everything, all the way through the whole room with the, the end tables and everything else. So, yeah. I don't know, there's definitely this, this really, like you said, kind of like a home, homey, kind of, com very, very, very comfortable vibe clean. in here. Clean. Uh, but de definitely clean. Um, you see, any hairs or bugs? <laughs> yeah, for, for, I'm gonna tell you up front, we paid a good bit. She doesn't even know how much we paid, and I'm not going to share that with her. Okay, so it was a, it was a lot because this is leaf, like fall color viewing season. Uh, weekends are going to be very expensive, especially here in downtown Gallenberg. But average prices, um, go to Hotels.com and you can search for your dates to get a better idea. I would say probably average prices are going to be right around 200. For, for the most part, off season is going to be a little bit less than that. But it should be clean, right? For the amount of money that you spend for a place like this, you're downtown Gatlinburg, you're paying for a name like Hilton, so you deserve to get something that's nice and clean. Yeah, that's why we're hotel snobs that like Hilton hotels, because they're clean. Yeah, we are We are a bit of hotel snobs. Um, there's a threshold below, We, uh, you know, a certain point where we won't go as far as um, room quality, um, but uh, we will try as many hotels as we possibly can in Smoky Mountains to give you a wide variety uh, to see where you might want to stay. So we this uh, also comes with a balcony. And what does the balcony overlook? Well, we can see down there is River Road. You can see the the little fire pit area. What looks like a what I assume is a hot tub, but it's not. The jets aren't currently on. But uh, our spot here, we can well, we can see other balconies, so that's something I guess. This is right here on the back side of River Road, so you got a nice view. Of some beautiful trees. All right, here is the pool area. We got a fun LED light. It feels like it's going a little too fast, but uh, 
they got some lounge seating in here. A couple little chairs. Some chairs. They got it all distanced out in here, but um, a few places to sit, but it's like a nice pool. Let me feel it. Oh, that's cold. Whew. In addition to the pool, they do have a little fitness center. Looks like a treadmill, a couple of um, stair stepping machines. Elliptical. Couldn't think of the word. All right, so the Hilton Garden Inn in downtown Gatlinburg. This is a place that we have looked at staying at mm -hmm. multiple times, and I'll be honest, we've we've passed it most of the time because of the cost. It's mm -hmm. one of the most costly hotels in downtown Gatlinburg. So um, it's located on River Road, face facing River Road there. So it's walking distance to everything um, as a, being a downtown Gatlinburg uh, hotel. But this particular time, I decided to, to pull the trigger on it, one, because there wasn't a lot of hotels available yeah. um, for, for the, the weekend that we went. And two, we, I really wanted to review it because we've, we've appreciated Hilton hotels in the past. Mm -hmm. um, and It's a great location, and from the outside, it's super cute. So and The reviews have been um, very good, mm -hmm. very good, so we wanted to try it ourselves. Um, First impressions, uh, you walk in very clean. Mm -hmm. um, had no, they always are. Never, never have any issues with that. Um, had a weird, an odd smell to it when we first came in because it had just been cleaned. Oh, right the before. room. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that dissipated fairly quickly, mm -hmm. but but uh, that was a little odd. But but the room itself was very clean because it had just finished being cleaned. Yeah. Just just finished. Yeah. They texted us to let us know it was available, and we went right up. Um, so that was, that was that, um, let's talk about the bed comfort. I, I didn't wake up all night. Yeah. I, I think I slept really well. Yeah. Um, it was, it was comfortable again, what you expect from a Hilton hotel. Yeah. I always sleep well at Hilton. Mm -hmm. Um, we paid about 10 bucks extra for balcony. For balcony. And um, was that worth it? No. No. Uh, so our balcony faced River Road, but it also overlooked the um, little fire pit. Like patio area. Hot tub area. Which is a super cute area. Mm -hmm. And there was, there was a, two different couples out there. They were out there for the majority of the evening. That here, Here's where the problem began. So not being out on the on the on the um, balcony inside, door closed, no windows open, we can hear their conversation plain as day. Um, I I have not experienced that really at, at any hotel that we've stayed at in the Smokies to hear the outside so mm -hmm. painfully obvious. Um, if people had been down there hooping and hollering all night, it would have been a long night of. of and it was just too middle-aged couples just having conversation yeah. it wasn't anything like you said obnoxious or uh, loud they, swearing or anything no like that. they were they were pleasantly having conversation mm -hmm. it was just noisy but i'm trying to put myself in a in a situation where you paid this much for a room mm -hmm. and there is loud people and even okay let's say they're out on their own balcony facing yours making all that noise hey, it would be very hard to sleep that was weird too right so you pay the extra you get a balcony but it's kind of like this so there's balconies facing your balcony yeah so that is just when you're just wanting to sit out at night and overlook the patio and enjoy a conversation but you've got people here it's just, I don't know. For paying extra, it feels like that shouldn't happen. Right. No, I agree with that. So um, did have a fireplace. We didn't try it. Obviously, it was too big. It was that. a warm weekend. So. Um, so, noise on the other side. So, the, there's internal doors, you know, for the hallway. 
we heard people outside that door too. Mm -hmm. So definitely a problem with how they've set up or insulated, whatever you want to call it. it there's just too much noise on. on was that the one where I heard the song through the? Yeah, so that was the other thing. So she was in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was. I uh, was I uh, brushing my teeth, yeah. I think. But yeah, so I'm in the bathroom and I can hear a song playing. Yeah, so we determined, I think, that it was a TV on the other side of the wall in somebody else's room. Like again. But again, doesn't usually happen. Not something that happens. Uh, and when you're when you're paying more for a hotel, those are just small inconveniences that you expect to not be there. So. Yeah, if you paid you paid sixty bucks for a hotel and and they cram people in there and yeah, and the, no, the walls all, are paper thin, that's just part of it. We've and, had that happen where mm -hmm. we go somewhere where it's a pop a, a populated area mm -hmm. where we're all going for a like an amusement park or something. It's just a different vibe. You just kind of expect things a little different. Stomping down the hallway yeah, and things like it's that. It's just but, all part of the fun. But in, in this regard, it. It's a higher end hotel experience should be. Um, you would expect to not have all that extra noise. Um, so it was a nice hotel, mm -hmm. but for the cost, which I still don't know how much it costs. So. I won't tell her. So an average weekday cost is gonna run anywhere from, from like 160 to, to, to 200, I'd say. You hit in the weekends and it gets more. And during peak season, which is when we went, plus the weekend, and those prices go up and up and up so, so I, I don't want to know you don't you don't like because i feel i, I feel be... like i'm bad with money for just yeah. having booked it i so wanted if you so even if you paid just double of the rate he gave you it better be impeccable so for the oh yeah breakfast yeah. Right? So breakfast at the hotel after all the money you pay. Mm -hmm. You have to pay. It was like thirteen dollars or something per person. Mm -mm. Like no. The Hyatt Hotel at that point it should be free. If well, you that's can always give, been my complaint. Right? Yeah, if you can get it for free at a sixty dollar hotel, you should definitely get it for free at whatever we pay. And I, I've talked to Keith Hildebrand about this before and, it, and it's it's always been mind-boggling to me that the more you pay for a hotel the less likely you get free parking mm -hmm. and free breakfast. The m less you pay the more likely you get it. Makes no sense to me. You're paying high-end prices and I'm and it was double what what a weekday rate would be for what we paid and that's um everything better be top-notch and, yeah. and it just wasn't. Yeah, uh, it, it was, was clean. Just, it was clean. The bed was great. It was very comfortable. We could have gotten that from any basic chain hotel, like yeah, or like oh, oh my goodness, like for for that cost, a cabin, really nice cabin. Or, oh my! I mean, like you would get a really nice cabin, or um, some sort of really nice rugged stay down in in, in, in Gallenberg, you know, a, a um, bear, what was the bear lodge? Bearskin. Bearskin lodge that we stayed at. Or Def multiple nights at the home too. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, if you're wanting to stay at downtown Gallenberg and cost is a concern, we, we cannot recommend this. this. Um, if quiet is a concern, we can't recommend this. No. Um, if, if you just want to pay for the name, or the location or the location only then then, then or if you need better. a really good night's sleep because that i can say i did yep. get a really good night's rest yep. so uh, hope we didn't disappoint you we want to be honest yeah and if you're if you're experienced like if you stay on a weekday and you pay that 160 rate yep and, and i think that that's probably reasonable yeah i would agree with that but weekend during peak season it's just like those prices are, to me, I feel like they're getting out of hand. I don't agree with that. Because um, it stops being affordable. Yep. Yeah, people were forced to do what they have to do to be able to, to rent down there for sure. So that was the Hilton Garden Inn. Um, we appreciate you guys so much for watching these videos. And if there's another place that you would like to see us stay or a restaurant or anything you'd like to see us review, um, let us know. 
Um, you can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram. If you search All About the Smokies, you'll see that little brown All About the Smokies logo pop up in either one of those places. We'd love to see you follow us over there as well. So, but that'll do it for this video from the Great Smoky Mountains. We hope you have a great day. God bless.